Hey, what's going on guys? Real stream here. Alright, so today we're going to be covering a topic that's uh, a bit more serious than what we generally cover on here. You know, we've, we've talked about grooming, we talked about just regular drama on here. We've also talked about some mothers trying to sell their children, you know, uh, with lovely peaches, if you guys remember. This is uh, something more along those lines of a serious topic that, you know, I take very seriously because I don't... I don't think uh, manipulating fans or anything like that is, is a good thing. So that's what that's what the majority of this uh, topic is about. So um, how I stumbled across this, I'm sorry, how um, me and, and an associate of mine uh, stumbled across this. I, I was speaking with uh, the YouTuber Repzilla. If you don't know who they are, I'm going to I'm going to put a a card up in the upper, you know, corner, so if you guys can, uh, you know, check him out, I'm sure he'll be, uh, releasing a video about this as well, um, yeah, because I, I spoke to him about this, we, we were, uh, talking about, uh, Dirty Dan, um, if you guys don't know who Dirty Dan is, I just did a video on him, uh, the last video, uh, check it out if you want to be a little bit more updated, but I'll give you a quick rundown of what happened. Um, me and Repzilla were speaking on a voice chat for, you know, a few hours, and we were talking about a lot of different topics, you know, because uh, I was trying to squash thing differences between me and him when it comes to Joyce Sparkle BS and everything like that, um, and when we spoke, we were also spoken about uh, Dirty Dan and the Eugenia Cooney video he just came out with saying he spoke to Eugenia, he knows Eugenia's getting help, and that Onision needs to leave Eugenia Cooney alone. So, um, come to find out, um, well, let me, let me, just, just the reason, um, we're talking about this is, you know, uh, Repzilla was like, you know, something seems off about him, the whole Eugenia Cooney thing is off, that's weird that he's talking about it, it which it is a little odd, because I, I didn't know they were even, uh, friends or whatever, but, so, <laughs> He made the video about Eugenia Cooney, and uh, in the comments section, there you see Jacqueline Glenn saying, uh, y y you know, that you guys never spoke, you know, as far as she was referring to Eugenia Cooney and Dirty Dan, and she's like, well, but good job getting views off of her name or her situation. And um, when I made my previous video, somebody said that Jacqueline and uh, David from Future. Uh, sunsets also said that that never happened and then uh, <laughs> so that made me uh, that was a big red flag and I'm sure if, if you guys saw that comment that was a big red flag for you too which means um, Dirty Dan or Danny Edge seems like he was just exploiting the situation so um, you know um, myself and Repsilla looked further at the, we kind of helped each other look further in this situation we reached out to uh, some people and tried to figure out a little bit more about uh, Dirty Dan and uh, he has he has a channel called exclamation point uh, YT uh, which has over 700,000 subscribers he was almost at a million with uh, another partner um, and uh, they kind of they had a falling out, I guess. Um, people are saying over a girl, so maybe I don't know. I don't know what the real story is behind that because that's just something that's not really uh, relevant to this part of the story. But um, as I was looking through the comment section, there was people saying, you know, he was sexting with underage girls or sexting with women, sexting with fans, and everything like that, and that he's a creep. So, um, you know, seeing that is alarming, very alarming, and uh, we, there was a thread um, that we found from a video, a video that said uh, that Dan is not, is, uh, he's not this good guy he portrays himself to be on the internet, that he's actually, you know, just an internet creep um, abusing his fans for nudes and um, <laughs> trying to get nudes and uh for his own sexual gratification and uh you know some of them are underage uh, that's what people have been saying um so i'm gonna show some of the screenshots of uh that that i found from this thread um right now
Now, um, some of these are from a, uh, a, a woman named Kimmy. Uh, she's, I think she's 20 years old now. And, um, she's the one who made this thread about him. And, uh, there's, there's just a, a lot, there's a lot to it. And she feels like he pressured her into trying to send nudes multiple, multiple, multiple times. And, um, her friend who, um, was around her also, uh, backed this up. So I messaged, you know, I messaged her and I wanted to see, you know, what, what was true and what her experience was. Okay. So, so, so what's your name? My name is Kimmy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So it's, uh, can you say Kimmy and Claire? Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. Kimmy and Claire. Okay. So how did you, um, get involved with, uh, Dirty Dan? So when I knew him, his name was Danny Edge. Um, I was 14, I think. It was 2012. And I had a, well, I made a Twitter account that was like a fan account of him. So my username on there was Mrs. Danny Edge for like, how many years was that? Like four years. Forever. Um, so as I was a fan account, he would like know me sometimes. And that's back when they really didn't have a lot of fans, him and his friend Paul. So, um, I would get noticed and eventually we started talking on like DMs and then iMessage. Yeah, it just kind of snowballed from there. Okay. Um so okay, so you guys um just started talking and everything like that. And when were you like like were, were you ever like how, how did that like how did the like whole relation start up just just as like friends or you like just as a fan, that's it? Oh no, we definitely became friends. Um I'd say fairly quickly because when I was a fan of him, it lasted from like the end of 2012. And then we started talking early 2013 Mm -hmm. and then not even like a couple months in, we were talking every single day and we would like watch movies together. Like we would put the same movie on at the same time. And yeah. Okay. So so you guys close pretty quickly. So you guys are pretty close then. Um, so what happened with the um, the messages that I saw? Because I, I actually, um, I ran into that thread just because I was looking into him because of, um, like, I thought it was weird that he kind of ditched the channel that had almost a million subscribers. So mm-hmm. I was like, that's odd. So I looked more into it and I f- uh, found your thread. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Was that partially one of the reasons why he left his channel or what? what do you know? So what happened with his old channel, him and Paul had a falling out, Mm -hmm. um, I think over a girl. I don't know if she was directly the reason why, but I think that's where it started. I think Paul left the channel because of the problems that Danny was causing with his relationship. Um, Yeah, see, that's what I figured. I saw one video. It said, like, she cheated on me or something like that, you know, and um, what from Danny? I don't know. Uh, Yeah. So I Danny's, assume that's probably why. Oh, Danny's story. He, all right, I'll, I can say this. He loves to twist things and make himself sound like the victim. Um, from what I heard, he, I think he kind of did to Paul what he did to me. Maybe on a different. A different level, but yes. Yeah. Basically, Paul got tired of him and, and dipped. So, yeah. Okay. So what happened when he started, like. So, so you were you're you're saying on the thread that he kind of pressured you for like nudes and stuff, right? Yeah, that was okay. That was on a pretty often basis. Like, yeah, it did not happen just those couple times that I had screenshots of. I mean, I saw the the screenshots. There was a lot of them. I mean, <laughs> um, <Yeah>. that's <laughs> he really, he really, he really went in on that. I mean, uh, does does he has he commented on has he commented on this or no? No, I've directly even, you know, I've directly sent it to him and other people have as well, but he hasn't said anything about it. And I think he's like kind of almost mid at it in some videos though. Yeah, I I did. It was like a live stream or something. I think yeah. he might've mentioned something about it before, but otherwise yeah, I think, the story, though. yeah, I think he's, I'm speculating. This is just me assuming that he's being low key about it because he doesn't want to draw attention to it. Mm. Because yeah, it hasn't I, taken off, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's probably going to after this weekend and everything like that. More people will be talking about this. Like, if I'm going to be talking about it, and, uh, you know, um, I'm assuming uh, Repsola will be too. Yeah. Um, you know, like, so 
y you know, I just I just gotta ask, like, how did how did this whole situation like pan out for you? Like, how like how did it make you feel? Like, like how have you been dealing with the situation? Like, besides posting it on a thread, like, have you had any like further like have you had any like harassment from him, or like has it just been kind of dead from him? What's what's been going on? So after that, it was just kind of. I wouldn't really talk about him anymore. It kind of just was silent for a while. And then last year I stumbled upon my old Dropbox account, which had, you know, all my phone stuff on it when I had like an iPhone four and I had just like emptied it. And then I found all the screenshots and I think it was you when I was like, yo, like I have all of this. What the heck are we supposed to do with it? Like, look at the stuff he's saying to me. I'm like, I was 14, 15, 16. Yeah. Like, and by the time I was 16, I think he was well over 18. You yeah. Know? No. And it's like, yeah, I was kind of the one that said maybe we should talk about it. But also, I was also like, we should be careful about this because he could try to put us down for defamation of character, even though he asked <clears throat> by doing this to multiple girls, you know, but I also mentioned I was that. never I scared of him. Be like, I'm like, how many what? how many other girls are involved with this? I know, I know of three or four four not four i think yeah i think four now but i've i've had dms in the past of other people who were like no like he did that to me he did this to me mm -hmm. um yeah i would have to look into that more there's an account recently that uh, made its way on twitter that's been like sharing stories from the vic other victims that he's had basically mm -hmm. huh. yeah yeah, this is something that uh, I guess I'm probably going to end up probably researching all weekend because it's uh, it seems like there's a lot to it, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can send you whatever I have because, I mean, obviously, this has had, like, a huge impact on my life. Like, I'm, like, pretty anxious right now because whenever I talk about it, it just brings me back to, like, when he was doing this to me. Like, he was very mentally and emotionally manipulative. So he would, like, take my feelings that I had for him and, like, turn them into oh, but this is all your fault, like, whenever we had a falling out, and it really messed with me, like, I have, like, obviously, I have bad anxiety, and, like, trust issues, like, me and my fiance, we're always fighting over something, because I can't believe him sometimes, and it's not his fault, he's not doing anything wrong, it's just because dealing with Danny for years, like, on end, it's just, I have a hard time trusting people, and it makes me anxious to think about how you know, he's still out there. I think he has a girlfriend now, but even just last year, he was still messaging girls how he was messaging me. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't want that to happen to anyone else. I don't yeah. want them to be put through this. Like, you don't want this. I, I've um I've seen some some sketchy things about him actually too. Like he just made that video about Eugenia Cooney and uh uh, I saw uh, Jacqueline Glenn, like she put up underneath his uh, underneath his video that he doesn't even know her and never talked to her, oh. like never talked to Eugenia. So I was saying that. Yeah. Was I not saying that? Yeah. So somebody actually was DMing me and was like, oh, well, how do you know that they weren't friends? Because I'm like, I talked to him like we were friends for like four, four years. years. Yeah. I'm like, I think I know who, who he was associating with. Do you think he just knows that she's not going to say anything? So he's like, whatever, screw it. I'm just going to say it. Yeah, here's what I'm speculating. So obviously, you know, when you're friends with somebody, you kind of know who they talk to. I'm like, if him and Eugenia ever talked, it was probably after me and him were like done talking. Mm. Because when we were like friends, I kind of, I had a general idea of who he was talking to and she was never, ever one of them. So what I'm thinking is now that there's a lot of stuff going around about her, that he's using that to get more views. Because obviously he's been struggling since him and Paul's channel. Like, well, his channel, his channel is actually on the rise now since he started talking about uh, Eugenia. So yeah, so it's probably working. Yeah. And I'm I mean, like, that's that's how I that's how I ran into him. I mean, yeah. 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 But I mean, I mean, I guess there's an advantage to that then. I mean, I'm just surprised no bigger people have really talked about it. So, how old are you now, by the way? I'm 20 right now. Okay, so you're 20. And how old how old is Danny supposed to be? 23. Okay, and so he's 23. Okay. All right, yeah, I think it says, like, 21 or something. So what I know about that with his whole fake age thing, um, he had briefly explained it to me once. I don't know if I still have a screenshot about it, but pretty much him and Paul went to California one time. I think they were talking to an agency or management or something, and he said, oh, well, they, they said we have to use different ages. Like, we have to fake our age. And he's like, okay, I think so, he, I think so he it is fake. Anything. Huh? 
sorry, what did you say? So him and Paul, they had traveled to California because they're from Maryland. And Mm -hmm. they met up with like an agency or a management, something like that. And he told me in a text message once that, you know, that's what they did. They went there and were talking to some people and they had to sign some papers saying that they had to fake their age. So hmm. I still don't know why that was, but I guess he never changed it or never probably to it. appear to a, like, you know, it's just to a younger, you know, audience. get to a younger audience. Yeah. yeah that's that's what I thought. Yeah. But I'll have to look for it. Hmm. That's uh, very odd. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, how many times did you, I mean, all right. So did you, did you ever actually send him nudes though? Oh, I hate no. to. I okay. So you, okay. But how yeah, many times would you say he asked? How many times would you say he asked? He asked. Um, oh, so many. Oh, man. <laughs> that was like, almost a span. Uh, the span of our friendship lasted so long that I probably couldn't even pinpoint. Like, there was obviously uh, plenty of times in the screenshots that I had, but there was probably way more. Like, if I mentioned I was going to the lake for my grandma's um, birthday in the summer, um, he would be like, oh, you're at the lake? Like, send me a picture. I think that might be one of the screenshots yeah. where, like, oh, you're at the lake? oh well like send me something Mm -hmm. and then I think I said something like oh like I won't send something and I was like I have I have bikini photos from the lake was it really yeah oh because yeah because I said like oh I have bikini pictures from lake and he's like that's not good enough those aren't public I'm like okay I know yeah he always (laughs) said gross stuff like that Yeah. yeah that's sketchy um I don't even know what to say about that um Gross. Really, that's sad. It's kind of gross. <laughs> I don't know I was what to like, say. This. Fifteen, I think. Yeah. And how old is he? Like, wait, he was like eighteen at the time. 18, yeah. Around eighteen. Yeah. Pretty much, an age where he shouldn't have been saying that. Yeah. Knowing how old I was. Yeah, he probably should have known better. Um. Yeah, that's uh, that's sketchy. That's uh, pretty sketchy. Do you know of anything else that he that he was involved in or no? Like anything else? In terms that- of what? I mean, like, I, I'm usually people like this, they're involved with a little bit more. Like, I, I mean, there's there's other women that, that I'm sure that are involved in this. What would you say? There was four at least or three? Four that I can think of off the top of my head, like three or four. That's so weird. <laughs> I mean, um, I'm just like, I'm still lost that more people don't know about this, really. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's uh, it's really sketchy. And um, the age thing is really odd, too. I mean... I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't know how people don't know that because I saw his Tinder picture and it said twenty three, and I know I saw twenty one online. Yeah, I st- I still don't know the reason why that that happened exactly, but I just know like oh they went to California and they said they had to change it. Yeah, and that was pretty much all that was ever said about it. But even yeah. back then, the fans were like, "What are you talking about? That's your age. That's not it." So did any of his fans ever, like, find out about this? I think I saw a couple comments of him saying, like, you know, sexting underage girls and everything like that. Um, I saw a couple comments about that on his uh, old page, on his old, you know, uh, exclamation YouTube page. Yeah. So did they ever know about the, um, like, my thread or his age? I, um, well, I just I just saw that they were commenting, like, oh, yeah, like, he's sexting underage girls and everything like that. Like, have you ever seen anybody, like, any of his fans, like, you know, actually see the thread or any of the anything about you? Like, have you seen their reaction? Uh, or Not currently. Like, when I first made the thread, and even now, like, now that there's, like, this exposing page that's, like, um, oh, sorry. Oh, it's all right. My battery just went out. Um, what was I saying? Oh, hold on. So now that my thread and this exposing page is like spreading it around more, I have people who are always like, you know, like, oh, you're faking it for attention. Or some people, some people are understanding about it. It's kind of a toss up Uh with people like, oh my God, I didn't know he was like that. I'm sorry. Like, I'll unfollow him. And then there's some people that are like, you know, they think you're just trying to get followers or faking it, right? Yeah, and I think that's really funny because my account, because I was so well known in his fandom because I became friends with him, I had like 23,000 followers. That account I made the thread on, I literally went through and deleted all those followers because I didn't like the attention, yeah. you know? Like, my whole purpose with making the thread and even bringing all this up now that it's been years later is because I don't want him doing this stuff to people. Like, because apparently he was still doing it last year. Like, 
the um one of my mutuals she was saying um i think she found me through the thread was like yeah he was doing that to me and that was just a year ago i'm like I so don't you want just him so you, doing that to younger people yeah so you you don't want him doing this to anybody else because like it made you feel so you know, shitty and awkward, and I'm sure it puts you in a really fucking, you know, weird position. <laughs> yeah, it really messed you know? me up. Like, there was someone who mentioned that he was doing this to them at the age of 13. They were Ooh, wow. I think that might be on the exposing page. You might yeah. want to look at that page because they're trying to gather all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'll definitely be checking that. That's, uh, I don't even, uh, I don't know what to yeah. say about that. <laughs> that's, 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 uh, that's clear cut pedophilia right there, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just a really stressful thing. And I just want all of this to get out there to people so I can move on from it. You know, like some people are like, oh, that thread was made a whole year ago. Why are you bringing it up again? Because people don't know about it. And I think people don't. Think That's the important. thing. People, people really don't. I'm going to be real. People really don't. It's kind of like uh, it's like a very unknown thing. If you don't dig into this, you're not going to know about it. Yeah. So. And most people don't. That's the thing. So that's I, that's why I find it funny when people are like, "Oh, you just want attention." I'm like, "Think of how many screenshots I put in that thread. Who in their right mind yeah. would go to the extent to make all of that?" Yeah, and come yeah, up I, don't, I don't think it. Yeah, I don't think you're doing this for attention at all. Yeah, it's. Um, it doesn't even make sense. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm really sorry you had to go through this. That's uh, it's really uh, shitty, and definitely I can see how they can mess with you. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm just trying to. You know, I want I want to be done with it. You know. Yeah, and just move on. I understand that. I could mention some things. So there were times when we met up and I have photos of us in the thread that I posted. Mm -hmm. um, there was one time when I met him at DigiFest or DigiTour. It was one of those in 2000, which one was this? 2013. Um, and he kind of touched my butt and then made a joke about it. Like mm -hmm. in my text messages later on. And then the following That's year, the is it in the thread? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't remember what to put it. Yeah. Um, and then 2014, we were planning on meeting up. And then he was like, oh, well, this um, event is in the parking lot of a, like, baseball field or something. I think it was in New York. And he was talking about um, us. Um, I don't know what I'm allowed to say on here. Oh, you can say whatever you want. You can say whatever you want. It's fine. Well, he said, um, oh, we could fuck in the bleachers of the baseball stadium of whatever we were at. But we didn't even meet up that day because he... I don't know, had a problem. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, it, I'm, I'm glad I could at least, you know, reach out to you and, uh, you know, get your side about this. Yeah, but um, really, yeah, I really do appreciate, you know, you guys talking to me about this and everything like that. And um, hopefully, you know, I can make this cohesive picture so people understand how weird this situation is and how yeah. not, how not all right it is. It's, yeah. uh, it's not, it's, it's just, yeah. it's not right. It's not right. Mm -hmm. But um yeah I do I do appreciate you talking to me. So yeah. Um I appreciate Kimmy doing this interview about Dirty Dan, uh Danny Edge. Whew, there's a lot to unpack with this and uh you know, there's a lot going on here. Look, there's so many screenshots of him trying to pressure to get nudes from her and other women and there's more to it. And I may I might 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 make a follow-up on this. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. I know um, a lot of you are going to be surprised that, that, that this is a situation, but, uh, you know, allegedly it kind of seems like he's a creep. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think below. And, uh, I don't know, hopefully this brings more awareness to this. And I'm pretty sure some other YouTubers are making videos, like I said, I think Repsolo will be coming out, out with one of these just uh, do me a favor like comment and subscribe if you're new to this video um, also if you want to get these videos early I have a patreon the link is going to be in the description below you know uh, there you go that you can check that out that's definitely worth it lots of exclusive content and you get these videos early um, I'm also giving two shout outs to anybody uh, you know two random shout outs to people who follow me on Instagram the link is below we also have a discord too so if you want to be more involved with the community and know when I go live and everything like that feel free check that out um, I appreciate all the new subscribers that we've been getting. I appreciate all the new people who've been watching the live streams. 
on my other channel, RSN Live. That's where I go live every other night, or, you know, every night. Um, <laughs> just thank you. Uh, this community is amazing. Uh, all you guys who support me, uh, you are amazing. Uh, so thank you guys for watching this video. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.